Shlam Alochun. Today we're going to install the Assyrian fonts so you can type on your computer. First you're going to go to the website learnassyrian.com You can skip the intro. Visit the links section. and you'll see everything you need to type in Assyrian. You're going to download this, save the file, wait for it to download. Once the file downloads, you're going to start Windows Explorer. Look for the file in Downloads or wherever you downloaded the file and you'll see the file right here. You can see the extension Microsoft hides the extension. I like to turn it on by default. So just click on Organize, Folder Search Options, click on View, and Hide Extensions for Known File Types. That really should be unchecked. Now you can see it's a zip file. What you can do is you can right click, Extract All, or if you went to 7-zip.org and downloaded the application, you can also extract it to Assyrian typing here. I'll just go by the default windows. Extract. And now I see the folder of the extracted files. So I'm going to click on this. All the fonts. And then what I can do is I can select it all. Right click and install. And if I have already fonts installed, I can just overwrite them and hit yes. You don't have to worry about that. And just go back one folder. Now you're going to see the default Windows font. Click on this. And this is going to change the default Windows font from Western Syriac to Eastern Syriac. So it'll be a lot easier to read. I'm going to right click, click install, and I'm going to replace the file. Now I'm going to close these windows and add the Syriac keyboard. Go to start, control panel, clock, language, and region, region and language. Click on keyboards and languages, change keyboard, and I'm going to add the Syriac keyboard. I'm going to scroll down the list. And this is here thanks to George Kiraz at BethMarduzo.org. Keyboard. I'm going to select the Syriac font and the Syriac phonetic keyboard. I like the Syriac phonetic keyboard because when you hit B, you get beat. When you hit T, you get tau. So it's a lot easier. So you can select both or just select Syriac Phonetic. I'm going to select both. Click OK. Hit OK. And now you're ready. I'm going to start any program, for example, Microsoft Word. And I'm going to select my keyboard. Select the Syriac font. And the keyboard layout is going to be phonetic. And now you're ready to type. I'm going to enlarge the font, maybe by 20. And now I'm ready to type by the default keyboard. You're going to want to print to the keyboard map. This is the keyboard map for the default Windows font. I like to use the East Syriac keyboard. It's slightly different, but you can use either one. 
make sure you're familiar with both of them. And whenever you're ready to switch to English, you click on English. And that's the end of the lesson. Thank you for watching.